you ever wanted to control your computer using voice commands like they do in Star Trek? Hello computer! Well in this video I'm going to show you how you can use some free software called Voice Attack. Now I use this for VR streaming to control OBS so I can switch scenes when I'm not close to my keyboard or stream deck. However, you can use this with any other Windows application that supports keybinds. Anyway, let's get straight to it. Computer, run intro. Running intro. So the first thing to note, this software is available on the Steam store and it's also available directly on the website. I'll put links for this in the description below. The other thing worth mentioning is that in order to use this program, you're going to need a good quality mic. I'm using the ModMic Wireless here, which I use for my VR streams and for content creation, so I highly recommend this. Alternatively, if you're using another microphone, make sure it's close to your mouth to avoid background noises interfering with the voice recognition software. So once we've got voice attack installed and up and running, the first thing we'll want to check is that the microphone is actually being picked up by the application. So at the minute it's red because I've ticked the not listening option here. So it's going to ignore any of the commands whilst I'm talking in the video. So what we can double check is if this isn't moving, we go to voice attack options and we go to audio. Just make sure that the set Windows default multimedia audio recording device on startup is your active mic. So in this case, I've got the microphone set up here and it's the same microphone for the default communications audio recording. So you just want to make sure that these reflect your default microphone. So out of the box, there's a profile that's already set up with the application to check everything's working okay. So if we just click the edit profile, we can see a list of voice commands. So we can say hello, and we'll expect it to say back to us, good day to you. And we can say browser, and it'll open up the default website for voiceattack.com. So we'll try that now. We'll untick this to listen. Hello. Good day to you. Browser. And we can see there it's loaded up the website and it replied correctly. So we know voice recognition is working fine. One thing to note is with the free version of the software, you only get one profile and you're allowed up to 20 commands for that one profile. If you go ahead and purchase the software and it doesn't really cost that much either, you can have as many profiles as you want and then you can have multiple commands in those profiles So what we'll do next, we'll set up our own new voice command. So if we hit the edit profile button here, and then we'll go new command. And what we'll do is open up a link to my Twitch dashboard. So the command will go for Twitch open dashboard. And what we want to do is click other, then we're going to Windows and then run application. And then you can just paste in the URL of the website that you want. If it's an application that you want to open, such as, I don't know, Spotify or somewhere executable, you can just click the three dots here, browse the application, and that'll trigger the launch for the application. So we'll just click OK here. And then what I like to do with my uh, VR voice commands is have confirmation that the command has executed by voice attack repeating a phrase back to me. So what we'll do next is we'll hit other. And then we'll go sounds. Now you can play a sound if you want, but I tend to have the text to speech. So I'd have opening Twitch dashboard. Click OK, click OK again, and then we just have to remember we've gone for Twitch open dashboard as our command. So I'll hit apply. So what we'll do now is test that command works by enable listen. Twitch open dashboard. Opening Twitch dashboard. 
and there you go you can see it's gone to my twitch dashboard so what we'll do next I'll show you how I've got voice attack working with OBS studio for my streams so if we jump into my profile you'll see I've cleared a lot of the previous commands out here just to make it easier to see in this tutorial I've created a new command which is stream open here if just look what it's going to do it's going to open the shortcut to obs64.exe which is my obs studio and it'll say opening obs studio so that's step one when i say stream open so we'll do that now stream open opening obs studio now what i've done for the sake of the video in obs i've created two scenes here one called gameplay and one called back soon so what we'll do we'll set up some shortcuts and I'll show you how you can use voice commands to toggle between these two scenes in OBS. Also, you'll notice the microphone is what will be going out to the stream. I'll show you how you can also set up a keybind so we can automatically mute this when we go to back soon. And then when we turn back to gameplay, we want to unmute the mic. So we'll just set up these commands now. So what we'll do first, we'll set up some keybinds for OBS that can be triggered by voice attack voice commands. So in order to do that, we'll go into settings and to hotkeys. Now, if we scroll down, we'll see our first scene selection, switch to scene for back soon. I tend to go for a combination of keys rather than just one key to avoid clashes with games and such. So I'll go for shift control B for back soon. The gameplay will go for Control shift and G. And then finally for the microphone, we'll go for control shift M for mute and control shift U for unmute. So we'll hit apply, hit OK, and we should be able to test that. So if control shift B back soon, control shift G gameplay, and then for the mic, control shift M to mute and control shift U to unmute. So now that we know we've got those keybinds set up, we'll set up a command in voice attack so we can switch between gameplay and the back soon screen. So first of all, we'll go over to my profile, edit profile, and then I'm going to go new command. What I tend to do is have a keyword for the area of voice attack that we want to operate in. So for all of the OBS and streaming uh, commands, I've gone for the keyword stream. So I'd go stream and then we'll go for back soon. Next, rather than going for other and then launch application, we're gonna go for key press. Just hit close, not that. And then we'll go for control shift and B our combination. And then what we'll do, we'll add a sound confirmation. So say something with text to speech. Back soon. Test that. Back soon. Okay. Okay. And I've hit apply. Done. So let's just take, give that a quick test. Stream back soon. Back soon. And as you can see, it successfully switched over. But what we haven't done yet is added the mic mute. So we'll just go back and update that command. Go to the stream back soon command. And then what we'll want to do is add an extra step here. So if we click there, another key press, and then we want control shift M for mute. And there you can see it's added the second key bind. Click OK. All right, done. So if we manually switch to gameplay, and then we'll try our command again. Stream back soon. 
you can see it's changed the scene to back soon and it's also muted the mic. So what we'll do now, we'll have another voice command to say stream gameplay and we want to do the reverse. So hopefully we can test this out. Stream gameplay. Stream gameplay. And as you can see, it's changed the scene to gameplay, it's unmuted the mic. And we'll test it to back soon again. Stream back soon. Back soon. It then changes to the back soon scene and it's mute the microphone. So one important thing to mention is how voice attack sends the key press command to the target application. Now by default, key presses will be sent to the active application in Windows. So what I mean by that is if OBS is open on your streaming PC and that's the same PC voice attacks running on, in order for the key press command to be sent to OBS, OBS needs to be open and be active, i.e. it's being selected. Now, if we click on the profile options, you'll see the default behavior is always picks the active window. So if you then selected Chrome, for example, on your PC, all of the following key press commands will be sent to Chrome, which probably isn't what you want. So what I recommend you do is in the settings for the profile, you can select the target window name or process. So if you look in the drop down here, we've got two versions of OBS that I've got available on my computer. I always want to make sure it goes to any of the OBS instances regardless. So that's why I've got that filled in here. Now you can either do it at the profile level or if you jump into the key press command itself, you can specify the target here. So just something to bear in mind, if you've always got OBS open, this isn't an issue, but if you've got multiple windows open or you're in a game, for example, and you want to send the command to another window and not the game, then you'll need to specify a separate target. Now, one useful feature I'll mention before we finish up, and that's the variation of voice commands. So I'll show you what I mean by this. If we go into edit profile, We'll see we've got one strict command which is stream back soon but what if you've got something like i'll be back or i'll see you soon rather than setting up various duplicate voice commands what you can do is split this spoken command into fragments so i'll show you how to do it if you click edit what you can have is stream and then if we put square braces on here and at the end of the phrase you can put a semicolon and we'll put I'll be back. What this means is stream back soon and stream I'll be back will trigger this one voice command. So two phrases and you can keep adding variations on this. You just have to be careful it doesn't clash with any other command that you've set up. So we'll go OK. Apply. Done. So next we'll test this. Stream I'll be back back soon and then switch it back the other way stream gameplay stream gameplay and then to make sure the original phrase works stream back soon back soon so one final thing worth mentioning if you're finding voice attacks having problems recognizing your voice and sometimes it does happen one thing you can do to improve the recognition hit rate is to go to the training engine. So click on the little spanner here. Then we go to recognition and then utilities. And then we've got speech engine training. So if you follow through this, this will basically get you a whole bunch of sentences to read out and that should improve the Windows speech recognition engine. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you're interested in VR content, consider hitting subscribe and the bell button for notifications. I now stream live on YouTube and on Twitch at the same time. And also, if you want after more content in terms of streaming and tips and advice, check out our Discord. We've now got a growing community of other streamers and content creators on there. So if I'm not able to answer your question in the comments below, maybe somewhere on our Discord can help. All right, until next time, bye for now.